The ability to differentiate the floors can be very useful. To do so, select the ramp and edit the floor attribute settings. Set a new value for floor type. The enhanced character keep on floor building blocks can return the type of floor on which stands the character. Copy and paste as shortcut the value returned by the parameter. Running a simple test building block will let us know when the character is on certain type of floor. Connect the shortcut to the test building block. We are testing integers, so do not forget to change the parameter type. Each time the floor type changes, we will send a message. The streaming event will activate the corresponding output only once and not permanently. Create a new message for each send message building block and specify the character. They will be used to play specific animations on the character in function of the floor type. Loop the test building block to continuously run it. We will add some secondary animations and associate to them the new messages previously created. Secondary animations are specific body part animations or exceptional animations. Warp length defines the transition duration between two animations. The stand on ramp message starts the associated animations. The stand off ramp message will stop it and therefore you have to precise it in the action column. Thus, you can easily contextualize your animations.